Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. So I thought I'd do a little uh, a read on Milani today, and I wrote something, just a funny uh, couple of lines earlier that just made me think of her. Uh, I say that uh, Melania, like a greedy wannabe widow, will keep her squinty eye on the diminishing stash of cash her elderly spouse has under his pea-stained mattress, ready to shove her hand into those filthy depths to wipe away any remains. But actually, uh, so Melania, will she stay or will she go? Tear card reading. Um, on the motives that drive her actions. The... Melania Novs was born on April 26, 1970 in Novo Mesto, Slovenia, then part of Yugoslavia. Her father, uh, Victor Novs, managed uh, car and motorcycle dealerships for state-owned uh, vehicle manufacturer, and her mother, Amalia, worked as a pattern maker at a children's clothing manufacturer. Now, she has an older sister, Inez, who's an artist and a longtime confidant, and an older half-brother whom she's never met from her father's previous uh, relationship. She grew up in a modest apartment in a housing block, and as a teenager, the family moved to a two-story house in Sevnica, where she attended the Secondary School of Design and Photography, and for one year before she dropped out, studied architecture and design at the University of uh, Luginka. I don't know, I can't say it. She came to the United States in 1996 on a visitor's visa, and then obtained an H-1B work visa in 2000, or a series of them actually. In 2000, she petitioned for permanent residency under the EB-1 program, uh, a program designed for people with extraordinary abilities, and uh, was approved by March of 2001. But, investigative reporting by the Associated Press revealed that she had been paid for 10 modeling jobs before obtaining her H-1B work visa, and was still living in the U.S. using her visitor visa. Foreigners are not allowed to use a visitor visa to work for pay in the United States, um, uh, at least for American companies, and doing so would violate the terms of that visa and could prohibit a foreigner from later changing his or her immigration status in the United States or bar the foreigner from the United States again without special permission to come back. Of course, she sponsored um, uh, her parents, Victor and Amalia, using chain migration. Uh, they became citizens in August 2018. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use the golden tarot because I think this woman has just got a gold a charm following her around. And if we need clarification, I'm going to clarify it with the same uh, author, Cat Black, her newest deck, the Touchstone Tarot. So that's, that's how, what we're going to do right now. These are um, beautiful cards and I think we're going to have a good time with them. So these come in a really nice box, and um, so there's that. And then the cards themselves, you're going to see, are just amazing. They're beautiful cards. They have incredible art. Each one of these cards could have elements of, of 10 to 15 or more uh, grander pieces of art that Cat Black has digitally uh, selected from those uh, pieces and then incorporated them into these designs that you see here in front of you. And as you can see, these are just beautiful cards. If you just wanted to look at them, they're, they're, they're amazing. But we're going to look at them in the context of a reading for Melania Trump. So we'll do a little shuffle. We'll see what's going to happen for her. Is she going to, is she going to stay? I mean, is she going to hang on till the bitter end and uh, just be there to, to scoop up anything that's left behind? Um, uh, why wouldn't she? She doesn't seem to be a very social uh, person uh, of what I've read uh, when she was trying to make a name for herself uh, before she met uh, her husband. Um, she was a very solitary person and um, apparently not really even interested in having boyfriends, just interested in working. And, um, and she and Inez had kind of a close relationship uh, towards that end. I, would, I wonder if we should talk about Inez and see if she's married and what's going on in her life. That would be interesting, I think. But right now, I just want to know, Melania, what are you going to do? What's your plan? I mean, you've got a nice, sweet life now that you're out of the spotlight. And um, are you willing just to sit back and wait till everything implodes and then uh, slink away with whatever's left 
as the widow, one has to wonder. So we'll break these cards into three piles, then we'll reassemble them, and we're going to jump right into the reading for Melania with the major question of what will she do? Is she going to stick with him to the bitter end? Is she going to bail before that? And let's see if these cards can give us an answer. I'm going to take uh, six cards right off the top uh, to see what they have to say about her. One, two, three, four, five, and six. These cards, I was introduced to them by one of my favorite uh, YouTube uh, psychics, and that's uh, Violetta. Psychic Violetta. But Melania, what is your signifier card? The signifier for Melania is the hanged man. So what does that mean? It looks like someone who's going to stand back, survey the, uh, the landscape from a different angle than maybe we might think. She's not just standing uh, behind a rock. She's looking at it from a whole other angle. And um, that seems to be the signifier for Milani. The hangman is not, is not a, necessarily a punishment. It's someone who's taken some time to, to understand uh, where they're at. They've been made to, as a matter of fact. They've been forced into this position. But then that seems like her modus operandi to put herself in positions where she sits back kind of like a cat and uh, uh, observes the landscape before she makes a pounce. The challenge to Milani as the hangman is the Queen of Swords. And uh, the Queen of Swords is the challenge to Melania as the hangman. The Queen of Swords is, swords for me, represent uh, truth and justice and uh, can be health. And I just wonder in what regard this is a challenge to her. The Queen of Swords, the Queen of Truth, is a challenge to Melania. That's interesting. Let's keep that there. Then the base of this reading, which is kind of what colors the whole thing, kind of the under, underpinnings of the whole reading, are the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups talk about uh, walking away from, you know, plenty. And uh, there's lots of emotion here. There's, there's lots of passion. It's in the dark. This, this person is, has glanced over at these cards, but hasn't made a move in that direction. They've got a stride going ahead. And so if that's the base of this reading, that sounds like her, actually, just kind of keeping an eye on what's going on, but uh, not necessarily making a move in that direction. The recent past for her would be the Knight of Wands. In other words, the Knight of Wands is, Wands represent uh, action, motion, plans, fruitful, uh, and a knight is, is a, a warrior uh, for the king in the court cards. In other words, he's bringing forth something that uh, he's ready to make to take action on and is willing to take action on. And uh, this knight, as a matter of fact, is in a, like a little bit of a trot uh, heading into this, uh, this situation. So the past represents Melania as a knight of wands, a knight of wands. But what's in the sky for her? And uh, in the sky it talks about temperance, my goodness, weighing uh, things out, making sure that you're balanced, keeping one foot on the land and one foot in the water and considering uh, what uh, is happening and how to stay uh, balanced in that in that situation. That certainly sounds appropriate for her. So that's what's in the sky. Now in the uh, likely outcome of this big zoom down on Melania is the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is having to take a rest. Just stop and understand that it can be perilous for you to get up too quickly. Uh, you've still got some protection, but you're you're almost taking a forced um, uh, stop. And certainly for her, she doesn't seem to call the shots in that relationship, but she seems to be reactive to what's going on in that relationship to her minimum uh, movement uh, uh, in order to gain her best advantage, seems like to me. Now herself, what talks about this woman right now. How is she? She is the Knight of Coins at this moment. And the Knight of Coins is coming forth, you know, with his eye on the on the money. Eye on the money. He's he's a forceful knight. He's on a sturdy steed. He has fortitude. And this eye knight, as most knights, 
is planning on how he can best take advantage of this situation, as any good knight would. The environment that uh, that she's in is the Four of Coins, and the Four of Coins is really holding on to the value or the wealth or the worth that you've picked up along the way. And again, making a study, this woman is, is looking through her book, she's surveying what's going on around her, she's got the uh, city behind her, she's just outside the castle walls or the city walls, and is being uh, observed by the folks who, who are going into that uh, structure. So yeah, she's in the environment of kind of holding on to what you've got. And if anybody's trying to hold on to what they've got right now, it's that whole uh, Trump uh, organization. The hopes and the fears in this regard then is <laughs> the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords represents uh, justice and truth in a big dose. This is an angel right here. This is an angel uh, talking to, speaking to this uh, sword. And so that's their biggest fear. And I think she just wants to keep her heads down and not get involved in all this legal mumbo jumbo that's going on. But the likely outcome for her is the hermit. And the hermit speaks to um, looking at what's going on uh, and making a very careful judgment about how you're going to move forward. This uh, hermit is taking good care of his deer. Who could that be? Is that Baron? While uh, studying his advance. So, I don't know if that was satisfying for you, but it does seem clear to me that uh, Melania is constantly the one, just like this cat right here, the one who's standing back, surveying what's going on, um, challenged by truth and justice, um, in the past always having to kind of keep just outside of the emotions, um, or rather, yeah, the base of the reading, just having to stay just outside of the emotions, not picking them up, but being wary of them. Whereas in the past, they were uh, a knight of wands really looking for opportunities to take action, and but while maintaining some kind of a balance and understanding that with this Four of Swords, it's very dangerous to get up too soon. And uh, we're more specifically, as a knight of coins, keeping your eye on that coin, deciding when you're going to make an advance. At the same time, in the environment of the whole organization, the whole Trump organization, holding on to what they've got, this Ace of Swords is certainly the uh, angel of truth and justice, and that's the fear of, of this group here. But Melania knows that as long as she's a thoughtful hermit guarding her deer, she will probably shine a light on a way through this darkness. So it seems very clear to me that um, this uh, woman is a is just like a cat. She's beautiful, she's slinky, she's sensuous, she moves with grace, and she knows when to pounce to best take advantage of her prey. And her prey is money, and whoever has it that can make it available to her. I think she'll, stay, she'll stick it out. She'll stay right there, and she'll wait to the bitter end, and she will become the widow Trump. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I hope it was interesting for you. Um, it's always uh, uh, revealing to me. And speaking of revealing, stop by and see Marianne at Revealing Like Tarot. She is amazing. But for right now, I'm going to say goodbye, and I hope that you come back and see me again later. Ciao for now.